Hello guys, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So hope everyone is doing great and enjoying all my tutorials. So always a like and a share for my videos will be uh, very helpful for me. So in this tutorial, as we have uh, seen in the last tutorial that NX customization, how we can change the theme and how we can use the, to create and, um, you know, uh, a, you know, customized tab here. So in order to how to use the tab and everything so that we have already discussed. So in this tutorial, I'm going to give you a keyboard shortcut. So keyboard shortcuts are very important, guys. Uh, you, so it will help you to quickly activate any command uh, you wish. So what I will do is I'll just uh, show you how we can create those keyboards so now uh, as you can see here in any nx uh, version so suppose if you go to extrude so x is a shortcut and uh, inside the sketch say for example i'll just go to inside the sketch and let me go here yeah so now you can see here for rectangle it is r and circle it is o and uh, line it is l so these are already predefined shortcuts for um, nx uh, you know usage so uh, you can definitely use these uh, you know commands i'll just uh, at the end of this video i'll just uh, tell you what are the advantages and disadvantages of this uh, whatever the nx customization so whatever the default uh, you know customization that is given uh, by nx you can just use them and uh, make a use of it so suppose if you don't want say for example now uh, you can see here a rectangle is given as an r and um, you say for a circle is given as a o and uh, l is, line is given as uh, l and these commands you are not at all using so suppose if your work profile is in such a way that you are not going to uh, go into a sketcher environment so your always work will be there in uh, uh, say for example in electrical routing or in so in assemblies and uh, huge assemblies so in that case you can always customize these shortcuts and it will allow you to quickly activate the commands so I will just show you how we can do that so I'll just finish the sketch so now you can see here profile is Z and these are the things that are already existing so now you can just go to right click here at an empty space and go to customize so when you go to customize and you can see here uh, there are commands in the first tab and the tabs and shortcuts and icon tooltips so here you can see the keyboard so this is a keyboard shortcuts that we have so you can just go to here and now here you want to uh, give whatever the shortcuts you want say for example now what i'll do is um so let me go to sweep and swept so swept is a command as you can see here this swept is not having any of the you know shortcut keys here so what i will do is i'll just press yes here so s is uh, not assigned to any of the you know um commands here so in that case there will be two options so global and applications only so these two uh, these this is very important guys so always keep it as a global so application only will make you confusion what what is the meaning of this is say for example so swept is the one uh, and if you keep it as application only so now uh, whatever the modeling application is there only in that modicular modif model application uh, this s will work so say for suppose for example uh, if you are in electrical routing and if you try to hit s so then it will not activate so always keep it as global and uh, give this uh, you know whatever the you know key you want and just give assign so once it is assigned you can see here uh, the green symbol shows and you can just close it so now what i will do is i'll just hit s in my keyboard so as soon as i press s uh, you can see here swept command will be activated so in this way uh, s comma is now so for example now x is the extrude right so i'm going to change it um, extrude uh, for uh, you know x for uh, some other command say for example shell shell is not having anything so let me go to so in in my case what i will do is in instead of extrude i will just use shell as a more uh, frequent so what i will do is x will be, i'll replace it for shell so go to customize and uh, keyboard shortcuts here and here what i'm going to do is i'll just expand this so here i'm going to go to okay insert and let me go to extrude first so let me go to design feature ah, extrude as you can see here extrude and it is application only so whenever the modeling application is on uh, then we have x as a um you know trigger for this extrude so what i'll do is i'll just remove it so i don't need it so i'll just go to remove it and this x I'll, i'm going to give it for shell so let me find the shell here so yeah i'm not able to find it so go to here 
okay so in this case as you can see here you, you are not able to find out where actually the shell is right so i'll just show you how we can find it so yeah i'm not able to find it so now close it and we have already removed x uh, for extrude as you can see here extrude is only showing here so now i'm going to go here and i'll just search for shell so as in as a shell uh, you search for shell and hit enter uh, it will show you exactly where it goes so you can see here in insert offset scale and shell so it is available in insert offset shell uh, offset or say scale and shell so now go to go again to whatever the customization and here i'm going to go to keyboard shortcuts and here i'm going to insert and offset and scale and here i should find shell as you can see here this is a shell so now i hit x for this sorry x for this shell command and i'll keep it as global and i'll just hit assign so now what i'll do is i'll just hit x so as soon as i hit x you can see the shell command is activated so this is how uh, whatever the new command new uh, you know uh, keyboard if you want to provide you can just provide it directly suppose if you are already you want to use already which is assigned to any other feature so you can just first remove them and then you try to um, give it a, for a uh, new command so this is how you can use the keyboard shortcuts and you it is not recommended only for to give to uh, letters you can just give uh, for number also 0 to uh, 0 to 10 uh, you can give the that number as well sorry 0 to 9 and um, you can make a use of these shortcuts these are very important so suppose if you are working only on electrical routing so for spline transfer path and whatever the other commands that are there you can just keep uh, you know uh, create one shortcut for them and make a use of it so uh, and the next one is very important guys so now let me give to uh, customize go to customize and uh, whatever we have discussed is so far is for um, you know keyboard shortcuts now uh, that comes to uh, when you right click and um, you know choose the shortcuts so for example you can see here i am just right clicking and holding it so you can see many options are there here say for example if this will be a fit to a one uh, view so you can see your uh, side view or whatever the uh, you know so now if you want a top view you will just uh, you know right click and drag it uh, right side left side so and this will be fitting so if it is not fit so i am going to drag it and uh, fit it over here so these shortcuts suppose if you want to change it so in this case also you can just do it so instead of giving extrude and everything so if for example extrude i want to put it extrude over here so that can be possible so i'll just go to customize and uh, go to shortcuts here and this is the view so you can see the view here so whatever the these sh shortcuts whatever you will change it over here so this will be application specific only so it is not global so always make sure that this is uh, application only so suppose if you are changing the fit into an extrude so it will work only when you are going in a current existing uh, workbench so now what i'll do is how we can change it we'll just go to commands here okay so go to extrude here type extrude and drag this icon and keep it over here so you can see here this is this will become our extrude now so now uh, i'll just close this everything okay so now if i hold it uh, left side as you can see here this is an extrude so you can directly trigger the extrude from dragging it left side so this is how you can use it so you can just make uh, you know go to view and uh, change whatever all the icons say for example if you are using very frequently in modeling so you can change it them to uh, the whatever the required commands for you so in this case um, and also you can just change these icons as well and this also you can able to change uh, you can customize everything whatever possible uh, over here and just go to commands and search for your commands and drag it and drop it over here so it will be useful for you so whatever uh, this you know uh, radial uh, customization we have here so this is the radial customization so go to view and uh, this is a view radial uh, you know uh, customization these customization i, I think it is a uh, uh, application specific so you can just make a use of these uh, whenever the application changes 
okay guys so this is all about how we can make an uh, you know um an x customization so one most important tip so after doing all the customization uh, so there are a lot of questions maybe comments i will get so whatever the customization if i have done and once you uh, close the session close the session of nx and uh, reopen the nx session uh, then you are going to lose the whatever the customization you have done so this is you know um, very common uh, problem with uh, everyone is get going to get so what we have to do is you have once uh, all the customization done so take a time and uh, take a half an hour of your time and do all the customization make a note on uh, for which command which keyboard need to be given and what are the radial uh, customization if you want to do all the all the customization you do it one time and uh, at once all the customization in is done in annex just go to file and exit the nx application completely nx uh, exit the application whatever the files you have opened whatever the models you have opened close everything and exit the application and immediately restart the nx application so this will overwrite the whatever user settings that are already pre-saved in your nx session so suppose uh, there will be a default session file which is uh, saved in, um, in every nx session so once you do this whatever the nx customization you have done it will be saved for Ever. so whenever you open in any of the future time so whatever your customization that you have done it will be retained as it is okay so this is the way how we can do the nx customization guys and uh, the last one is what are the advantages and disadvantages of this uh, nx customization so advantages as you know that uh, the productivity of your uh, work will be more and uh, you can able to finish the work and activate the commands uh, very easily and uh, even with an effective manner and the one uh, disadvantage uh, is uh, say for example if you are working on your system and uh, you are doing all the stuffs very fast and very quick but when you go to any interview or if you are working on any other colleague system or in any other other system so your hands will be always you know uh, going into other particular shortcuts in that way uh, whatever the saved shortcut in that particular system will be triggered that is the one which uh, you know make you discomfort when you are working on any other system so that you need to keep in mind and uh, apart from that there is no disadvantages you can use it and you can work the way you want so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial guys uh, please uh, like my videos and uh, share my videos thank you guys